Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain, there lived a young girl named Ava. Ava was a kind-hearted and adventurous soul, always seeking new experiences and challenges. However, there was one thing that held her back, the paralyzing fear of heights. The village was surrounded by breathtaking landscapes, including a towering cliff that overlooked a cascading waterfall. The locals often gathered there to marvel at the beauty of nature and bask in the serenity it offered. Ava had always longed to join them, but every time she approached the edge of the cliff, her knees would tremble, and her heart would race uncontrollably. Her fear prevented her from embracing the wonders that awaited her. One day, an elderly woman named Eliza, renowned for her wisdom and resilience, noticed Ava's longing gaze toward the cliff. She approached the young girl with a compassionate smile and said, My dear Ava, I sense that you carry a fear within you. But I want to tell you a tale, a tale that holds the secret to conquering your fears. Intrigued, Ava leaned closer, her eyes wide with curiosity. Eliza began her story. Long ago, there was a young warrior named Leo, who was filled with bravery and a sense of adventure. He had a fear of the dark, believing that monsters lurked in the shadows, waiting to devour him. One fateful night, as Leo ventured into a dense forest, his fear consumed him. Every rustle of leaves and every hoot of an owl sent shivers down his spine. He realized that his fear was limiting his potential and preventing him from fulfilling his purpose. Determined to overcome it, Leo gathered his courage and delved deeper into the heart of darkness. With each step he took, his fear grew weaker, and his determination grew stronger. Finally, he found himself face to face with a creature, a majestic wolf with eyes that gleamed like the moon. The wolf, sensing Leo's struggle, said, Brave warrior, you have faced your fear, and now you stand before me. But know this, your fear was never the monster, it was the gateway to your strength. Ava listened intently, captivated by the story. Eliza continued, from that day forward, Leo embraced the dark, for he realized that by facing his fear, he had unlocked his inner power. And just as Leo faced his fear of the dark, my dear Ava, you must confront your fear of heights. Ava pondered Eliza's words, the tale of Leo resonating deeply within her heart. She made up her mind that she would face her fear, just as the warrior had faced his. The following morning, Ava rose early and journeyed to the cliff's edge. Her hands trembled, but she steadied her breathing and summoned her courage. Step by step, she inched closer to the precipice, the gust of wind playing with her hair. The sight that greeted her took her breath away, the world unfolded before her like a painting, with nature's wonders stretched out in all directions. As Ava stood there, her fear began to dissolve, replaced by a newfound sense of freedom and exhilaration. She had conquered her fear of heights and discovered a part of herself that had been dormant all along. From that moment on, Ava explored the mountains, climbed lofty peaks, and soared with the eagles. She became a beacon of inspiration for others in the village, showing them the importance of facing their fears. And so, the tale of Ava spread far and wide, becoming a reminder for generations to come that facing one's fears opens the door to personal growth and unveils hidden strengths. It teaches us that sometimes the things we fear the most are the very things that hold the key to our personal growth and liberation. Ava's story became a beacon of hope, inspiring countless individuals to confront their own fears head-on. Word of Ava's triumph reached the ears of a young boy named Ethan, who lived on the outskirts of the village. Ethan was plagued by a fear of public speaking, which prevented him from expressing his ideas and connecting with others. He yearned to make a difference but felt his fear held him back. Driven by the tale of Ava's courage, Ethan set out on a journey of self-discovery. He sought out opportunities to speak in front of small groups, slowly exposing himself to the very thing that caused his anxiety. With each small victory, his confidence grew, and his fear of public speaking began to wane. One day, a renowned professor visited the village, searching for a bright young mind to join his team. Ethan, now emboldened by his progress, seized the opportunity to share his ideas, even though it meant addressing a large audience. With a trembling voice, 
he stood before the professor and the crowd, speaking from his heart. His words flowed with passion and authenticity, captivating everyone who listened. Impressed by Ethan's bravery and innovative thinking, the professor extended an invitation to join his team. With tears of joy streaming down his face, Ethan realized that by facing his fear, he had unlocked a world of possibilities. He knew that his ideas and talents could now be shared with the world, making a meaningful impact on those around him. News of Ethan's success spread throughout the village, intertwining with Ava's tale of conquering fear. Together, their stories became a tapestry of courage and inspiration, igniting a spark in the hearts of all who heard them. In time, more villagers came forward, eager to confront their fears and embrace their true potential. Artists overcame their fear of criticism, unveiling their masterpieces for all to see. Athletes pushed past their fear of failure, training diligently in achieving new heights of success. Entrepreneurs embraced the risk of the unknown, launching innovative businesses that transformed the village into a thriving community. The small village, once bound by fear, now stood as a testament to the power of facing one's fears. It became a haven for dreamers and doers, a place where individuals discovered their inner strength and celebrated their unique talents. Each person's journey toward self-discovery and growth was cherished and supported, creating a harmonious and vibrant society. And so, the importance of facing one's fears echoed through the generations, reminding people that the path to greatness often lies on the other side of fear. Whether it is a fear of heights, public speaking, or any other obstacle that holds us back, embracing our fears empowers us to unlock our true potential, live authentically, and create a life filled with courage, passion, and fulfillment.